buns and mimosas Yeah, it's gonna be bubbly kind of time Join new friends to relax and unwind The best food with drinks on the side Cheers to the good times It's friends and mimosas I love my coaching business. I love helping people. It's something I'm, I'm really good at. I really I enjoy doing it. Um, people come to me for different reasons. You know, some of them are are public speakers, and they want to get your talk to the next level. A lot of them are terrified of public speaking in general, but then they come to me to help them be more charismatic communicators. But I also work with companies. Like a lot of times, a business will bring me in and be like, teach our employees and profs that they can, so that they fight less, so that we have better brainstorming techniques or whatever. You know, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty awesome. It's really cool. It's, those are the people that stick with me and that are really committed to it. There's some, there's some formidable transformation on the other side of it. You know, but I um. And there's one person in particular I'm working with right now who she came to me with like a a loose interest in doing comedy. Okay. But she needed to be a better public speaker and needed to be with more confidence for her work. And one of the things I had her do, I mean work together on doing, was getting her do, doing stand up as a way of just practicing. Right. Like to face those fears. And now she's actually a stand up comedian. Yeah. Wow. So like at first it was like it was almost like yeah. okay, I'll do this because what do you want me to do? But now she had a show last night. You know, she I, I, like someone booked her and paid her to be on a show. That's amazing. Which is really cool. Yeah. And I love it. I, I love I love stuff like that. Yeah. My inspirations are anyone who are people who like carve their own path. You know? It's like and I'm not throwing shade like at anyone else's path, like different strokes, different faults, all that I get it. But like the people who move to New York to do comedy and then get on Saturday Night Live or whatever, it's like that's hard as hell and like more power to you. But I'm I'm personally inspired by Oh, this person they stayed in Nashville and they made the comedy industry come to them. Right. Oh, this person actually moved, you know, they grew up in Phoenix and they stayed there and because they wanted to make Phoenix the comedy hotspot. I love I love stories like that. I so you have a comedy club. That's awesome. My business partner, she owns the actual club. Okay. I book the club. Me and her run it together. It's called Comedy House. Okay. It's over on Fulton Street, right by the casino. Okay. Um, we have shows every night but Tuesday. Our two year Check anniversary. Check out Comedy House. Yeah. Check out Comedy House. <laughs> hey, if you reference this video and tell me what we just ate, I'll give you free tickets. Oh, wow. Mm, so that means you have to be paying attention to what we That's had. Right. <laughs> you can't rewind it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only, awesome. only full-time comedy venue in the city. Really? Yeah. Some visitors from Essence Fest, like you think. Oh, we have a massive Essence Fest schedule. Awesome. Yeah, a massive Essence Fest schedule. Comics from pretty much every comedian from out of town mm -hmm. who's coming in for Essence is doing a show. Really? Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. We're excited. We had some pop ups. Um, we're doing, we are doing food at a, at a handful of the shows. We're opening up a daiquiri shop next door. We're going to be accommodation <laughs> comedy club and daiquiri shop. So exciting. Mm -hmm. I know. Like, sounds exciting. I love it. I'm grateful every day. I think about how lucky I am. I get to do my favorite thing in my favorite city. I, I, yeah, I love it. Oh, one, two, three, two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hello, hold on, hold on. Let's start without me. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, two. You out. You got to pay for everything. Come on, bye. Yeah. All right, which one are you going to do? Paper, record, or scissors? I'm going to do rock. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Told you I'm gonna rock. Oh, she thought I you were me. I know. I knew you were doing that too because I saw your video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Hey,
tell you, you're just like NBA players. You have a lot in common with basketball players. You know? Why? Well, you're both um, great at basketball. Okay. Um, you both play um, play a sport you love, you know, and you can't beat me in paper rock scissors. That's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did paper, by the way, on purpose, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Took over the team. <laughs> Took over the team. I get it. That's how I am. Always so selfless. I, I try to be. Yeah. It's in the nature of the profession. Can I, can I teach y'all improv real quick? Yeah, I was going to ask you to. Okay. So, have you ever done any kind of improv before? I don't know. Do we understand, what like... kind of improv? <laughs> Improv in that, like everything is improv right. because we don't have a script or you know. Um, but what I'm going to teach you is like the, the, the basis of, of how we communicate in all of our comedy scenes. Okay, okay. so and I believe anyone can do this, anyone can do this, it's okay. important. Okay, so oh my gosh, I'm scared. have we heard of the phrase yes and before? Yes, and yes, and, and. okay, yes. okay. So when you yes and somebody, the yes is like locking in that. I heard you and I accept what you said as reality. I'm not judging it. I'm not wondering why you said it. I'm not thinking there's there was a better idea. I'm going with it. Okay. I'm making I'm supporting that. The and is what I add to it so that when you do that back to me, we have a conversation that flows. So if I were to say to you, like, um, I really like your new hat. I would not, as long as you don't say, I'm not wearing a hat, or this isn't a yeah. new hat, you're doing a good job. So, yeah. so, and saying thank you is just a yes. And you do that all, when you say thank you, the onus is back on me to keep uh. pumping up the conversation. Okay. This happens all the time, right? Like, uh, like we know people in our life, maybe it's us sometimes, okay. and we only do the yes. And then we, we think they're being awkward. Where it's like, no, you didn't add anything to it, uh. right? So, we have we're going to do it. I want you to start first. I want you to make a very generic statement. Okay? Don't try too hard. <laughs> to me, to me. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to literally say the words, yes, that's locking in acceptance, okay. and I'm going to add something to it. And then you're going to do that right back to me. Okay? No questions, only statements. That's hard. <laughs> I'm going to help you out. Just give me a really basic sentence. You have beautiful eyes. Yes, and you have really beautiful hair. Well, thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, and? Uh, yes, and? Uh, it sounds like we're complimenting each other, so maybe give me one more, you know? Okay. Um, I love this beer. Can I touch it? So, so make it a statement, not a question. Oh, uh, I love this beer. And I'm going to touch it. And I'm uh -huh. going to touch it. <laughs> Great. Yes, and uh, I've been hoping someone would touch my beard at brunch today. <laughs> that was uh, that was my biggest dream for myself today. Yes, I was really hoping to have a comedian on my show today. Okay, cool, great. So, this moment towards the end here, when, like, hopefully what you're experiencing is this, like, freedom that, like, you can actually say anything because you trust that I'm going to go with it. Okay. So, like, the pressure is, 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 is off. Theoretically. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like, because it's like, whatever you say, Chris is going to go with it. I'm not going to sit here and judge what you're saying. Right. And I'm going to, like, I'm going to, like, have your back and build. And if you have my back and build, we're going to be good. The only thing is, we're not building because we're not coming up with new ideas. Sure. Well, then tell me this. Would you rather have a conversation about 10 small things or one big thing? Probably 10 small things. Okay. That's fair. That's what we're doing. Oh, what we're doing? For sure. For sure. I mean, but, like, but that's a preference, right? We're talking like, about a general conversation. Yeah. Which, like, also, um, I think I think there's no wrong answer to that, by the way. Um, but, I, but I think the skill that I'm trying to demonstrate is that you can 
can use yes and to, to quickly go deep on something or to at least keep the ball in the air. Gotcha. Okay, try it with us. All right, ready? So I want you to... So do, I better, can, do better than I do. <laughs> I think you did really wow. well. Do <laughs> better. Okay. Oh, no. So, 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 so here's, the, uh, here's the addition. Here's what I want you to do. I, um, instead of it being actually me and you, I want it, like, we can be anyone. Excited for our business meeting tonight, Mr. Oh, President. Oh, okay, Whatever. Okay. You can say anything, and what am I going to do? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Do I have to start? Ah, I was hoping you were going to start. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to seeing some of my friends later this evening. Yes, and I am really nervous to meet them for the first time because I've heard so much about them. And we've been together for like a year. Yes, and I think they would probably really enjoy meeting you and spending time with you and getting to know you better. Yes, and uh, good, because I'm planning on practicing my juggling routine tonight at dinner. So I'm happy that they're going to be excited about that. Yes, and that will be really entertaining for this group because they're a pretty adventurous, fun-loving group. So I think they might like to learn how to juggle. Yes, and I hope it doesn't mess up the, um, you know, the the, the big news about the pregnancy. <laughs> hmm, I think we were supposed to keep that a little on the okay. <laughs> All right, Steve. Cool. Okay. So what we're doing here is like, like when we have permission to add new information piece by piece and go with it we're building a we're building reality as opposed to being bound by whatever is really here you know so so if i were to, and so, and so the um the the takeaway here is like when you yes and somebody whether it's literally or even like conceptually you are always leaving communication channels open you are being playful you're not being judgmental and you are being in the moment these are all things that if I could t if I told you that like you could do all these things with like one exercise and you might even laugh while doing it like doesn't that sound like like the most badass playful right and this is why people flock to improv classes and it's like it's like going to a mindful gym without the woo woo I, I like the woo woo too don't get me wrong you know I, I go in cold plunges I do meditation classes I do that too but like a lot of people don't right. or feel uncomfortable doing that what we just did like we weren't thinking about outside stuff for like two minutes we were being creative yes. we were listening we were playing all things that adults don't often do question if yes and is building does yes but do the opposite or is that also building but in a different direction great question I think the opposite is no but mm -hmm. you know, she said your eyes are beautiful and if I said no they're not but it's a beautiful day outside mm -hmm. that doesn't really accomplish anything mm -hmm. it's like I'm saying like I don't want to I'm saying like I'm telling her her idea is false no one likes to hear that I'm 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 skipping on the um, potential to connect and get on the same page and I'm bringing up something completely different yeah and expecting her to get on the same page yeah. as that because you might be shutting her down with that statement so I'm like, shutting her down and asking her to join me on something different right and people do this all the time in real life people do this all the time they're like they're talking about something and then randomly it's like let's stop talking about this what about this random thing it's like well hold on I wasn't done expressing myself I wasn't done getting to the bottom of whatever now we do it for comedic purposes right like it helps us find comedy but the truth is that it also helps you just communicate in general like it keeps the ball in the air it keeps it it keeps it keeps it rolling keeps it playful and it forces you to listen I like it it's a little taste a little taste test well tell us about your books how many books 
So I've written three books, yeah, all about things I love deeply. Uh, one's an improv book that I wrote with Tammy. Uh, another one is uh, it's called Behind the Vent. It's a basketball book. Because for three years, I did um, I sat right behind the visitors bench at, the, at Pelicans games. So I was like, like you're LeBron James and I'm and I'm me. You know, I'm like right behind. Wow. Them. So I kept the journal of all the things they talked about. Wow. And I also talked to them. Yeah, I got to know them. I got to know them. And so it was a game by game journal that was like, like, like when the Super Bowl was in town, I would ask all the players on the Miami Heat, you know, like who's winning the Super Bowl? Are y'all staying in town? You know, and I would just like talk. To, I, I basically took their answers and put it into. That's crazy. It was really fun. At first, it was a, it was an internet column, and it got it got pretty popular. And I was like, I and my editor kept cutting them down, and but I kept, but I, kept I kept all the originals. And so I just made the book that was like, here's like the longer version of everything. And my third book is is related to what we were talking about before. It's called How to Build a Comedy Scene from Scratch. So it's about how to do what we did here. Yeah, how to, like, wherever you live, you can use this book to start a comedy scene. Like how to start an open mic, how to negotiate deals with a bar, how to start an improv jam, how to start, how to start. Because I don't, I've been trying to solve the problem that I have. When I was coming up, there was not a resource that was like, oh, you live somewhere where there's one of these things. It's like, it's like good luck. Move to Chicago. And I didn't want to do that. So I wrote this book for that. Yeah. So, um, so, I, so yeah, so I, no, I did not come up with the idea of teaching in part of the but this is a very specific style that I'm really proud of. So, you go into a business, how do you make them comfortable with it not being crazy? Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's a challenge to make businesses um, comfortable right. learning improv. <laughs> Because a lot of people don't want to look stupid in front of their boss. Yeah. Or, or your co right? or, or, or they're able to hide behind their desk mm -hmm. at work. But that is why they hire me. Right. Do help with those people. So, like, it's hard to say, like, I do X, Y, Z. It's like, it's just, it's just a vibe. Right. It's the energy of it. It's the way I do the class. That's important, though, because I think about, like, if leaders did more stuff like that, they're important.
me. Okay. <laughs> that's a great way of putting it. Yeah. And, and, and that's that's what is happening. That's what's happening. <laughs> interviews before where y'all are like doing the heavy lifting and I'm not, I don't mean to like I, I don't mean to like no I hear you are you wanna, just gonna no, 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 no. <laughs> but like you may have felt before where you're like well wow, I asked them a question and they just gave me a yes or no answer uh, or like they or I said I really love Project X I'm truly excited how did it feel to do that and they go it felt good yeah right and you're like that's a yes that's a yes I need an answer Oh, yes, that has happened. So how do you do that? How do you get them? Well, I think all that you can do is be the change you want to see. You can be that way. You can also, maybe, here, here's a bonus tip. <laughs> maybe do a yes and exercise before people. Oh. You can say, you can be like, all right, we have this little thing that we do that yeah. one of our previous guests makes us do. Um, we do this little yes and exercise. It's really easy. I'm going to say something and then you yes and it back to me. I mean, yeah, loosen them up. I like it. Or tell them to watch this one. Right? <laughs> Get the views up on this one, you know? Or you come. Like, I, I have a little homework for you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's funny, but also not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Um, Nothing beats a failure, but a try. Yeah. I, I've done um, I, oh I've done a couple of videos, like, describing this for people on my Instagram and YouTube, whatever. But I, now I'm inspired. Like, I want to make, like, an, I want to make, like, a formal video that's, like, watch this before you get interviewed. Yeah. That would that would be a really cool video. Yeah. Watch this before you get interviewed. So and what you're saying is we inspired you? You sure did? Yes. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> what do you, do you have a favorite for your class? Do you rather teach comedians or businesses or is that? That is such a good question. I have not been asked that before. Mm. That's a really good question. Look at you. That's, that's tough to answer because my... I think the deeper, more meaningful transformations come with someone who has no idea what's what's in it for them, mm -hmm. which is mostly a business person. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you know, if I have an adult, someone who is maybe set in their ways, who thinks that they've already explored all that life has, and like that person's then, even though they might be 25 years <laughs> older than, I, than like a, than like a comedian kid in one of my classes, that person stands to gain more in the long term. So I think my gut right now is telling me the business person, but at the same time, it's like, I do this because I know comedy, and I love comedy, and I I love rooting for comedians, and I love helping them. So it's tough. Yeah. It's yeah. tough. But, I, I, but in, in, out of respect for the great question, I will, I will say final answer like the business person because <laughs> they will they will drive home they will drive home with the biggest like right. oh my god what just happened you know yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the concept of a soulmate, maybe. Well, what's I don't the know. concept of a soulmate? I, well, I don't know. I mean, I yo, 
Oh, we're like nine mimosas in. Okay. I think you now when you go. Okay. What if? I think. I think. I don't mean to have like a scorching hot take here, but I think that maybe one's purpose can be a soulmate. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Wait. She's not into it at all. What? <laughs> what if someone's purpose was their soulmate? Like, 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 like you're just that she's trying to find your purpose in life. Yeah. Yeah. And once you find that, so your soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be a fate. I don't like. What that. if? My, <laughs> I can tell immediately. <laughs> What if I, hey, this mimosa is my soulmate? Okay. I'd rather win the lottery. You have two pretty of eyes. You do not have a soulmate. I want to win the lottery. You want to win the lottery? I want to win the lottery. Okay. Would you rather X-ray Disney or magnified hearing? Magnified hearing or X-ray vision? What in this conversation would have been different if you had to say all this on your mind? You would be like, I am never hiring this dude at my school. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. okay. I'm like, no. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, we don't care about your yeah. <laughs> yeah, this conversation, nothing. Other conversations, like. <laughs> yeah, I would have asked for dessert, actually. 
I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I promise. Do not give her hives. I promise I'm kidding. This time, okay. Would you rather lose your keys or your cell phone? Keys. Keys. Like car keys. Keys. You got questions every time. Are you Sorry.